All right, uh, warehouse management. What we're going to talk about today is capacity. So we had uh, storage one, rack one, and storage rack two. So these are two bins. And we had ranked them. Uh, I think I gave them three, rank three and two. Uh, <coughs> and so if you rank the bins, it's basically always going to put everything into the, the higher ranking bin. And so for directed put away, basically what's going to happen is that everything goes into the highest rank and, and you know, you, you have nothing going into the other one. So you need something more. So we add something called capacity. So in this case, it's uh, maximum cubage, maximum cube uh, right here. And, and so here, I think we put both of them to be 150. I mean, you, you might be thinking, okay, what, what is cube? Is it cube feet, cube meter, cube something, inches? I mean, technically, you can think of it as anything you want, as long as you're consistent with the number that's there. If it's 150 whatever, make sure that it's whatever everywhere, you know? Um, <clears throat> so in this case, we set it up as 150. And what you need to do is for the item, or the item card, uh, we have a unit of measure, or basically it's called item unit of measure. In this case, we have pieces, and you can set up the cube for each piece. And we set that up to be one, which is probably an overestimate if it's uh, cubic feet, really big, big uh, um, coffee mugs. But you can think of it as just one whatever, one mug is the cube. Uh, and it's easy for us to understand like how bit, how much we can fit into each one of the bins. Uh, and then we're gonna try to see uh, running the directed put away and make sure that it's now gonna be putting it into the bin that has availability. Um, <clears throat> and so let's take a look at that in the system. Okay, so let's take a look at this. If I go into first the item card, um, what I want to take a look at is the cubage for an item. So if I get into my Enacta coffee mug, go to navigate, item, units of measure, I've actually added on here uh, two more fields. So this is the cubage and the weight. So I've set up the piece to have cubage one. I'm not dealing in boxes that much, so I'll just skip putting that up. But basically for each piece, the cubage is one. Now the cubage can be defined by you what that means. If that is a, a cube foot, um, then that's that, you know, or if it's less, um, you know, it's up to you. But uh, in this case, I just define the unit one. That's basically one coffee mug cube. And so it's easy for me to calculate um, how much cube is inside the, uh, the bin. So if I go out into my bin contents, um, I can see that I have in the storage bin two, the quantity is two, 140 uh, of the Enacta coffee, bin, uh, coffee mug. So that's 140 cube. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the maximum cube for this. So if I go into location, and uh, go into the north location. Let's see, and get into the bins. And by the way, I've added all these fields here. They are not by default uh, in the system, so you have to personalize it and add fields. So I can see here that the uh, storage two has uh, bin ranking two and storage three has bin ranking three. So the higher the bin ranking, the f for, uh, then the earlier it's put away in. So uh, if I remember this correctly. So I'm gonna put both of them with maximum cube 150, right? And I know that is 140 and I think it's three. So if I receive 100, it should either split it up or put it into one there where it fits. Let's see how that work. Um, I close it out here, go into my purchase order, and 
create a purchase order for the Inecta coffee mug. I got a lot of them received. Uh, I tend to not invoice them because I don't have to, so they sit out there for forever. Anyways, um, and I go in here, get the coffee mug, go into the north location, uh, and I'm going to get a hundred. And then go ahead and release that. Uh, and then go ahead and let me see. Warehouse, create warehouse receipt. Warehouse receipt has been created. And then we'll go ahead and post that. Oops, post receipt. Yes. And then we'll take a look at how the put away lines come out. So hopefully it'll respect the maximum capacity. Let's see, put away. Um, so warehouse put aways, so go into the last one here, hit edit. Um, <clears throat> now, so what it wants to do for this hundred is take it from the receive and put it into storage three. Okay, so let's take a look at the bin contents. Um, if I look at the bin contents, I'll see that the uh, storage two has 140, so it's almost maxed out. Okay, so the lower the ranking, the better, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then storage three um, has zero. So it wants to put it into storage three because that is available. So it's, it's taking into account the capacity of the bin. And that's exactly what we wanted.